Hey guys, I'd like to share with you something today. Uh, Rachel, could you turn on the lights? It's kind of hard to do a video in the dark. Okay, that's better, thank you. Actually, that's what I wanted to share with you today. It's kind of hard to do things in the dark. Let me give you a few examples. Doing art. Haha, <laughs> my masterpiece. Uh, cooking. Haha, <laughs> this is working. Playing cards. I win. Uh, or not. Getting dressed. Let me just fix my tie. Hiking in the jungle. <sighs> what a lovely evening. Wait, what is that? Oh, uh oh. Now, as you can see, there are some things that are very difficult to do in the dark, but there's one thing that is impossible to do in the dark, to live the Christian life following Jesus. Now, I don't mean in the dark with the lights off. What I mean is with the Bible shut. In the Bible, God's word, David says in the book of Psalms, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. You see, God knows that you need a light to follow the path that he wants you to walk as you follow Jesus. That means God knows you need a way to know what is right and what is wrong, to know where you're supposed to go and where you're not supposed to go. The good news is he's already given us the perfect guide, the Bible, but not the Bible by itself. If you trust in Jesus that he died on the cross for your sins, God sends his Holy Spirit to live inside of you so that when you read the Bible and when you memorize the Bible verses, the Holy Spirit uses those verses to show you what to do. He will guide you so that you will know the answers to questions like these. Who should you spend the most amount of time with? What videos or movies should you be watching? When should you say yes? And when should you say no? You see, God has the answers to everything, but you need to take time alone to read this book and to think and to pray in order to learn what God has for you. Trust in the Lord and he will light your path.